And so it begins. All right, so welcome back, everybody. Joe R. Vintage Pokemon, and this is our first bit of Pokemon celebrations that I've managed to actually get in the mail. Um, so I ordered about a hundred and fifty dollars worth in pre-orders and it's all coming in different waves it seems to my to my location so uh this is the first thing that we got and it's the uh celebrations deluxe pin set and what we're really after are the cards inside these packs right here the uh celebrations booster packs i'm not i don't i don't think we're gonna open on camera the chilling rain and whatever else this is over here as a vintage collector, really I'm caring more about what is inside these packs than is inside these other packs here. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with them yet, but um, really cool pin that we have here. That's definitely a bonus considering that I'm most interested in the actual celebration packs and not so much the pin itself, but I, I love it. I mean, it looks great. I mean, so cool with the nostalgia of the surfing Pikachu. So I can't wait to actually take a closer look at that. But uh, let's break into this thing here. And uh, it's pretty well glued together. I'm just going to try to slide this out. I'm not going to try to beat it to death. That's for sure. But I don't care about the box condition either so much. Pull it down. And I'm hoping that this is just going to slide out. because I haven't opened anything really modern in a very, very... Well, I've never really opened anything modern before. This is very, very new to me, Vintage Collector. So we're going to take a look at what we've got here. So the inside looks pretty nice. Got this. Get rid of that box. We don't need that. That's pretty cool. Uh, Pokemon Level X. Zacheon. X, that's good stuff, get rid of that. And, uh, ooh, double plastic. This up and out. Oh, so well protected. And we got our card right here, 25th anniversary. That's the symbol that's gonna be on all these bad boys. But what we're interested in is these packs right here. And I'm really, I'm really curious as to what we're actually gonna pull inside of these things. So uh, without further ado, why don't we actually crack into one of these because I really want to see what we're going to actually get out of any of them. So, oh, uh, let's see if we can open these nice. There we go. Ooh, yeah. That's, that's a solid, that's a solid pack opening right there. Pull them down the back. Let's see how many classic cards we can actually pull out of these. So... I tried to actually go out the day of the release, and I totally miserably failed because I had work that day. I wasn't able to get out. It is really neat that these are all holographic, by the way. So we got Yvettel, Palkia, and we're going to have a lot of doubles. And there's a Dark Gyarados Hollow. We get a classic card right off the bat. And the centering left to right is not super, but I mean, this is really cool. Um... Ooh, it is raised a little bit. I mean, that's really neat looking. And we have the Mew. So we get the Mew and we get the Dark Gyarados first pack magic. And uh, that's really neat. How about that? That's cool. And I know we're going to get doubles of a lot of these cards. But, I mean, part of the fun is just, like, seeing these classic cards mixed in with some of these these newer cards, so to speak. And this Mew is pretty pretty beautiful, too. So really cool. But definitely our favorite so far is that Dark Gyarados right there from the Team Rocket set. All right, so we get on to pack number two. I know it's not the most rare card in the world for this particular set, but I'm really hoping to get one of those Chunky Chews. Those full art Chunky Chews, they look really neat. We're doing a pretty good job opening these things so far. And just as expected, going to have lots and lots of doubles. You see that we've got a, another Palkia already coming out. Come on. There we go. All right, so second one. Let's see. We got Palkia. Zekrom. Groudon. That's a neat one. And Professor's Research. Good old Professor Oak. 
Just burn in the midnight oil code card for anybody that cares about that. Here's the other code card, by the way, for those of you that want to take a gander. All right. Third one. All right. It's always been my personal opinion that opening packs can get pretty boring after you do just a few. So I'm actually kind of glad that I'm only going to open these four packs because I think opening more than two or three, it can get kind of dull. Oh, there's the Firebird, Fire Chicken Ho-Ho's in the house. So we got Ho-Ho, another Zekrom. Those doubles are just going to be all over the place, it seems. And we pulled a Blastoise. Well, damn. We are just killing it with the water types. Oh, that's sick. And we got a uh, Sogaleo. There's your code card. There you go. Upright. Whoop. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. Good old classic Blastoise. Really, what I want to pull more than anything else, I want to pull the original starters. So getting a Blastoise, third pack in, is pretty freaking awesome. I can't, I can't say I'm not happy with that. And this one is actually really well-centered, unlike the Dark Gyarados, which is a little off left to right. So we're going to sleeve this bad boy up because that's really neat. We'll put him right right there for just a minute. Don't worry, you're not, you're not, you're not going nowhere. And we got that. Ah, see, that was a Vivid Voltage that was back there. Okay, so we have Vivid Voltage and Chilling Rain, the two other packs we got. We'll just put them off to the side for now. One more to go. You know, I don't have super high hopes for Last Pack Magic because, I mean, we already got some pretty awesome stuff out of just, out of just three packs. We managed to pull a Blastoise and a Dark Gyarados which is pretty much all I could really ask for. Really, I'm just hoping to not get too many more duplicates. Okay, so here we go, here we go, here we go. We got, we got Xerneas. Cool, cool, we haven't seen that one yet. Cosmog, with a little girl in the background. Perfect, okay. Yvettel. And last one, we get another Mew. Okay, so we got two Mews in there, which is not a bad deal at all, but really the heavy hitters of this video, guys, We've got the Blastoise, and we have the Dark Gyarados. So you get yourself a vintage collector like me coming in, probably opening packs seriously with the intent to collect for the first time in, oh God, must be like 15 years since I really went into opening packs for the purpose of collecting. And we pull ourselves a Blastoise on pack number three, and we pull a Dark Gyarados on pack number one. Ah, uh, that's just, that's just so cool. I mean, these vintage cards, you can't, you can't beat the nostalgia that comes with getting a chance to pull something like a Blastoise from a pack. And I've never, I personally, in my younger years, I never really had an opportunity to pull or open too many base set cards. I remember as a kid opening up and getting a base set Venusaur out of a pack, but I never, I never ever before pulled a base set Blastoise. So this, this is really special. This is cool. And we've got the 25th anniversary symbol. It just shows how far we have come. And um, this is just really neat. And it's just a really neat feel to these cards, too. That's, that's just really cool. And Dark Gyarados. I opened up a lot of Team Rocket packs back in the day. So this is really neat, too. Dark Gyarados having that pre-release card, which is probably why it got the call for this particular set. Uh, it was just a very nostalgic card. So, guys... This is Joe R. Vintage Pokemon. If you want to see more Celebration Pack openings or you want to see just more vintage Pokemon cards in general, that's all we do here. So like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.